If you love fast cars, then the Utah Salt Flats are much more than just a freak of nature. 3,000 square miles of nothing. Because this is Bonneville. A magical, mythical place. A place of pilgrimage and worship. So sit back and hold on tight, because the ritual is about to begin. And the god is speed. It's big, it's white, and it's one of the most crucial amateur motorsport events in the world, attended by thousands for as long as people have felt the need for speed. They're all here, the rich, the poor, the fast, the slow, but why? To go, to go quickly, hopefully a few seconds better than the next guy. 300 miles an hour down the street, it's possible. A mile to speed up, a mile to floor it through the laser timing guns, and a mile later, your shoots have been shot and you're waiting to see if your record is a class win or whether CNN will be calling. I think it's called American Excess. <laughs> you can see the song, I don't know, 45 minutes away. And every time we come down that road, I have my camera ready and I actually just scream and I get goosebumps. I mean, it's just, that's the kind of effect it has. It just, you either love it or you hate it. Uh, I have this uh, disease, uh, it's called salt fever. And uh, unfortunately, there is no cure for it. I come out here when it was uh, rained out for two years just to be here. It's the greatest place on earth. There is a correction. The next vehicle is 1614 Long Course. Well, getting these really neat hats and shirts when you set records at over 200 miles an hour, I think, is the best part about Bonneville. It's really quite a rush looking at that mountain floating there, seeing the reflection of that thing just come down perfectly, and just knowing we're going towards it awful fast. Speed Week is, well, which is what it says really, seven days of racing. But it's also about 12 months of late nights spent in the garage, money that ought to have been spent on other things and dreams 